Hey family, happy Thursday. I am bringing your seven minute social to you today and I hope this message finds you well. I hope you and your family are doing well um, during this time. And the topic for today is going to be, I still have joy. In the midst of everything that's happening in our country, in the world, we want to remember to still have joy. We want to make sure that we do not allow our joy to be taken from us. Um, and so Paul said, says, rejoice in the Lord always. And so what does that look like? Well, we don't minimize the suffering of others. We listen, we pray, we encourage, we uplift. Isaiah 26 verses three and four say, those of steadfast mind, you keep in peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For in the Lord God, you have an everlasting rock. Another way is we don't give way to despair. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Let God be God, family. We may feel feel fear, but we don't have to live in it. I won't stop worshiping. I won't stop praising. I won't give away my joy. I won't give away my peace. You can be strategic when you're scared. If the enemy can keep you from seeing the blessing, he can keep you stuck in the situation. Don't get stuck, family. We still have joy. Please, I have some lyrics that I want to share with you, and they come from Elevation Church, and they were written with Carrie Job and her husband Cody, and this song is called The Blessing, and so a few of the lyrics uh, say, the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, and be gracious to you, the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you in the morning, in the evening, in your coming and your going, in your weeping and rejoicing. He is for you. He is for you. And so I just wanted to remind you, family, that God is with you. He is for you. No one can be against you. And so in the midst of everything that continues to happen and the uncertainty that lies before us, ahead of us, um, family, we have to remember to still have joy. We have to remember to lean on God and his promises and trust not in our own understandings, but in all our ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. And so I encourage you this week to continue to just be faithful in your, in your prayers, in um, your walk with Christ. I ask you to not lose hope or be despaired, but to instead, but to focus that energy on getting closer to God spending time with him, growing in your relationship with him, and working towards loving him more, working towards having a stronger relationship with him. So please bow with me now as we pray. Father God in heaven, thank you so much for this moment, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that in the midst of everything that's happening, Father, you're with us. We know, Father God, that we're not alone. We know that you knew that this would come before we were even aware of it, Lord. You knew that this time would come and that this world would be in panic and in um, a time of uncertainty, Father God. And so we know, Father God, that you are in control. We know that you direct every step that we take, Lord. 
And we trust and believe that you are with us during this time. We trust and believe that you not only hear our prayers, Father God, but that you are providing for your people, Lord, that you are taking care of us, that you are working everything out for the good. You promise, Lord, that you work everything out for the good on our behalf, Lord. And so we come to you in just thanksgiving, Lord, for all that you've done for us, that we have health right now, Father God, and that we're able to just tune in right now and listen to this message. And we just thank you, Lord, for the breath in our lungs. We thank you for the sight in our eyes. We thank you for the beating of our hearts, Father God. We thank you that we can get up and move about our homes, Father God. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that we're not laid up in the hospital, Lord, but instead, Father God, you have us here ready for this time to do what we need to do, Father God, to prepare your people for what is to come, Lord. So we just thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to just get closer to you, to love on you, Lord, and to encourage and uplift one another. We ask that you just be with us, Lord, now. We ask that you continue to move about our hearts and our minds throughout this week, and we ask that you please just rain down your love and your and your everlasting encouragement upon our hearts today, Lord. We ask that you just, may we feel you ever so strongly today, Lord, and may we move forward knowing without a doubt that we are your children and that you have us, Lord, and that you are with us. And you are not only with us, but our families and our children and, and that for the generations to come, Father God, that you are with us. And so we just thank you, Lord. We ask for forgiveness of all of our sins. We ask that you cleanse us of all our unrighteousness, Lord. Thank you for all that you do, all that you are, all that you continue to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, family, I hope you have a great Thursday. May God bless you and keep you. And until next time.